Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have done a, well, it was meant to be a massive foo-foo try on, but not everything fit me. So it was a medium size try on haul. Um, so I haven't actually shopped with Boohoo for years and years and years. I had a really bad experience with them before where basically I returned my order and they just didn't give me my money back. So that's put me off of shopping with them. So they're definitely not one of my go-to places to shop, but a couple of you guys wanted to see a haul. So I have done one, but I've got to say, this is probably one of the worst hauls that I've ever done. I'm actually really, really disappointed. I got a couple of pair of trousers to try on. For those of you who don't know, I, I tend to wear um, a 14 on top and a 16 on bottom. And yeah, I got the two trousers in a size 16 and I couldn't even get them over my knees. They were that small, ridiculously small. Bearing in mind, I, I literally did a try on haul last week and everything fit fine and it was all good. To go from that to this is just so, so disappointing. I also got a really cute little blouse top in a size 14, which was meant to be a really loose blouse top. I couldn't get it over my shoulders. That's how small it was. So first off, I think something to just remember with them, the sizings are crap. That's what I find anyway. And I just find compared to other high street or online brands, they come up ridiculously small. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the bits that I did actually try on. Um, and let you know what I thought of the quality and the fit and stuff. Okay, so first up, I tried on this floaty silky skirt. So it's a knee length skirt um, that has a couple of slits in the side. I really love the idea of this, just a really nice little chuck on midi skirt. I think it instantly, the silky fabric just dresses up everything. So I just whacked it on with this t-shirt and I thought it just instantly dressed it up. Quality wise, the fabric is awful. The fabric is really, really bad, it's really cheap. As you can probably see, I mean, I did wear it with black underwear, which I probably wouldn't have normally, um, but I couldn't be bothered to change my underwear just for filming, and you could see everything through. I have a tattoo on my hip. You can completely see my tattoo through it. So I think even if you were to wear nude coloured underwear, you're still gonna see them really, really clear. This did fit, I got it in a size 16. It fit, but it was quite tight on my hips, which is my travel area. That is where I carry a lot of weight. So I have a big bum and big hips. So I do struggle with that area quite a lot. Waist-wise, it fit fine. This is actually from a plus range as well. Um, it was eight pounds 10, so very, very cheap, but you can tell that. And I think with this kind of silky satin material, when you go cheap, you can normally tell. Next up, I tried on this play suit. I thought the print on this was so, so gorgeous. A really romantic -y kind of dusky rose florally print. Again, this is a silky fabric, which I think is great because you can either dress it up with heels, wear it out in the evening, or it will still look great if you just whack on a pair of vans or sandals and just wear it out during the day. I got this in a 16. I thought the fit of this was actually fine. I find it very odd that some of the items did fit and some of them, I just couldn't even get it half the way up. So the sizing is very inconsistent. This did fit me fine, but it was a little bit tight on my legs, but I do find that with play suits anyway, they tend to bunch up around my thighs. It has a lot of ruching detail. I like the ruching on the sleeves. I felt that the ruching around the legs added a lot of extra fuss and size. It has a elasticated waistband, which is great. Really nice low neckline, although not too low, and I didn't feel like I was gonna spill out with it. The only thing is that you need someone to do this up for you. I had to get Steve to do it up for me because it goes all the way up. So if you're gonna be out and about by yourself and you're gonna need to go to the toilet, you are gonna have to have someone help you, otherwise you're gonna be in massive trouble. So this was 18 pounds. I actually think that is decent pricing. The quality is okay. So I did really, really like this. I just thought that perhaps the ruffling was not very flattering, looked a bit odd on my bum and hips, 
and was a bit fussy. But it was still quite a nice play suit. This dress was disaster city. So I actually have a dress very similar to this already, although it's a little bit shorter. And I got it from, I actually think I got it from Tesco. And basically the reason I got it is because I love this kind of tie detail. So there's a little keyhole here and you tie it up over your boobs. And my other dress I have in this style is great. It covers enough of my boobs and I find it really cute and it's nice having that little keyhole detail. I struggle to do this up as you'll see um, on the try on because it's not that it didn't fit, it was just a really awkward position and I couldn't get any help to do it up at the time. And the bits that go over your boobs were nowhere near big enough. This keyhole was ginormous. So whether you're wearing it with a bra, no bra, whatever, I just would never feel secure in this. I got this in a 14, but I feel that even if you were to get it in a bigger size, that you're never going to get enough for bigger boob people anyway. You're never going to have enough material to properly cover your boobs and feel secure. The length was great. I thought it was a really, really good length. And that's actually why I bought this, because my other dress in this style is slightly short for my liking. So I did like the length on this. It's that really nice kind of silky style again, although the fabric on this it's really cheap. It just feels cheap, it looks cheap, it shows every single lump and bump that I have and I just found it was really unflattering. This was £10.80 so that is extremely cheap for a dress but I just still don't think it's worth it. I felt horrible in it. Got another disaster coming at you guys. So I got this, this is actually a swimsuit but I thought this would be a really, really cute bodysuit to wear with jeans, shorts, whatever it may be. I thought the pattern was really vibrant and cool. I love this enlarged leopard print. It does have detailing on the inside with a bit of bust support. So there's an elastic band that runs underneath your boobs. But as soon as I tried this on, so I got it in a 16, which again is my normal kind of size. That's what I have all my swimsuits in. Anyway, it came down so low, so, so low. I felt so exposed. I thought actually the quality of this wasn't too bad. It is quite thick. I don't feel like it was see-through in any way. I do love a lower back on a swimsuit. I think that's really nice. Size-wise, it was fine. It's quite high-legged. It was £8.10 for the swimsuit and I mean, that is very, very cheap for a swimsuit and I don't think the quality is too bad for that pricing. It's just the cut of it. I mean, if you're comfortable with having that much boob out in an unsupported way, then that's totally cool. But for me, it was just a massive no-go. I'm fully aware I did actually feature a white blazer in my last video and I decided to send it back in the end because I wanted something with a little bit more length. So I got this one and online this looks amazing. It's quite a nice kind of oversized style blazer. It has these little lapels, it comes down really low. Would look great with jeans, but the quality of this is, it's gross. It has these kind of faux pockets. The sleeves were ridiculously long. I'm actually five foot seven and I mean, arm wise, I don't have long arms, but I definitely don't have short arms. And these were so, so long. I had to roll it up probably about two, three inches to actually be able to get my hands out properly. Although it does have seam detailing to the back of it, I just thought it was really unflattering. It wasn't shaped properly. I got it in a size 14, which it's the same size as the blazer I got in my last haul, which was a 10store.com haul. And it just did not fit me right at all. It does have pads in the, in the shoulders, which I do think is quite nice. It's nice to add a bit of shape and structure to the shoulders, but this is just not working for me. This blazer was 18 pounds, and I think that is far too much for something like this. The quality is just awful. So last but not least, I got this silk shirt, 
which is probably my favourite item from the whole haul, but that may be because it's the best of a bad bunch, that's what I'm thinking. I just really wanted a top that'd be really nice and oversized, I can just chuck it on with jeans, dress it up with heels if I want, or even just to wear a cami top with jeans and have it undone over the top. I just thought it would be a really versatile kind of item. Again, with all of the other silky stuff, it's not a particularly nice silky material. It feels very, very cheap. I don't think it looks that nice. Um, I feel like I'm being really harsh on it now. I am of two minds to keep this because it is so cheap. But, I mean, even colour-wise, it did look very different on the website. It looked like it's a champagne colour, that's what they call it, it's champagne. But on the website, it looked more of a kind of slightly blushy, creamy colour, whereas this is quite, um, it's a creamy colour. It's really, really creamy, like a, more of a yellow tone, whereas I was expecting more of a pink tone. So the styling of this top is actually oversized. I got it in a 16. I do like with this shirt that you can style it in different ways. So I tucked it in at the front, I tied it up. You can have the buttons done to the top. My favorite way to wear it is just to have it unbuttoned into a V and then just tie it up. But because I got it in a 16 and it's oversized anyway, I felt that there was too much material when I did try it, when I did tie it up that it just looked a bit odd. This was only £9.60, which is why I'm kind of thinking that I might just keep it. Um, but I, I am of two minds about whether I should or not. I don't know. So that is everything from me today, guys. Sorry I couldn't show you more, but like I said, there were quite a few items I literally just could not anywhere near get on my body to even show you. The sizing was just so inconsistent and I honestly, I hate, I hate, hate, hate the shops do that and they need to pay more attention to the kind of sizings that they're giving people because it's really misleading and really disappointing can make you kind of question yourself a lot. But overall, yes, the stuff is super, super cheap. You get what you pay for though. The material is not nice. The fit on some of the clothes is really bad as well. Even with some of the stuff that's in the plus range, for example, I know the swimsuit was in the plus range as well. I don't think that the cut was really what I would expect from a plus size range, but it is what it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Anyway, I feel like I've been a really neggy Nancy today about everything but I was just so disappointed. But if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.